Hi again. In this lesson, we're going to have a closer look at the various features of this plugin to see exactly how it works. So let's get started. So as mentioned before, Algolia is a search as a service solution that allows your users to be able to search through your database at super fast speeds. So let's now have a closer look at the live demo page to see an example of how the various features of this plugin works. So in the search box right here, I'll go ahead and add some words to see just how fast the results will come up. So for example, I'll go ahead and type in Facebook. And as you can see, the search results came up pretty quickly. And again, I'll go ahead and type in Google. And again, the search results showed up pretty quickly. So as you can clearly see, if your app uses this Algolia plugin, then users won't have to wait a very long time in order to search for an item that they're looking for, even if you have a lot of items within your database. So all along, we were looking at the Algolia search tab. But let's now look at the Algolia items edits tab to see how you can add, edit, and delete items using the Algolia plugin. And on the demo page, we can see that there is a library of books. And of course, these books are within the Algolia database, as you can see here. And in order to add a new book to the library, we can click on this add button here. And then we can go ahead and complete these fields. And after the fields have been completed, we can click on the save button. And as you can see, the new book which I have added that I named bubble guide has been added within this library of books. And we can confirm that within the Algolia dashboard by coming here and searching for that book within the search box. So I'll go ahead and type in bubble guide. And as you can see, this book is indeed within the Algolia database. So that confirms that we have successfully added a new book within our library. So now let's see what happens when we edit an existing item within the database. So for the book that we have just added, I'll go ahead and click this edit button and I'll change the year from 2020 to 2021 like that. And I'll click on save. And according to the demo page, we can see that we have successfully edited this book. As you can see, the year is now 2021. And that's also confirmed within Algolia, as we can see the year is now 2021. And lastly, let's see what happens when we try to delete an item from our database. So for the bubble guide book, I'll go ahead and click on this delete icon. And just like that, the book is no longer listed within the demo page. And to confirm that, I'll refresh the database within the Algolia dashboard. And then I'll go ahead and try to search for the book. And as you can see, there are no results for the book that we have just searched for because we have deleted it from the demo page. And that's simply how this plugin works. So we have just examined just some of the features of the Algolia plugin. So here's an overview of how the Algolia plugin works. So you can think of the Algolia plugin as the middleman between your bubble app and the Algolia database. And fundamentally, the Algolia plugin helps to read or search through your database from Algolia and show the results to your bubble app at very high speeds. And that's regardless of how big your Algolia database is. But not only does the Algolia plugin help you to search through your database, it also gives you the ability to create search filters, to add new items, to edit existing items, and also to delete items from the database. And you can do all of this all within the bubble interface without having to go to your Algolia dashboard. And that's what really sets our plugin apart from Bubble's native integration with Algolia and other Algolia plugins. And now that we have closely examined how the plugin works and what makes it unique, let's move along to the next lesson.